This is Tyler with Power Tank, and in this video we are going to rebuild a high pressure push on chuck, otherwise known as a hippo chuck. The hippo chuck is standard on all new Ventoso tire inflators. Sometimes when you're out in the field, you might drop your tire chuck in the dirt or the mud, you have to clean it out or you might wear out the rubber seal inside and, need, and it will need a rebuild. We do offer rebuild kits on our website. I'll show you how to install it. So here I have a vise. Um, you can do the same steps, just putting the chuck in like so. But for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna put the chuck in the vise. Now, this step is a bit tricky, but uh, it's not too hard once you kind of figure it out. So I have two picks, and there is a snap ring in, in here. If you look down, I'm going to kind of get the picks in position, and I'm going to slide the collar, silver collar down, and that will kind of give it room to open up. Okay, there we go. All right, so there's the snap ring. Now I can take off the silver locking collar and you can kind of see the components of the chuck so uh, we'll go over how, what order these go back in you have the small brass ring and now take the chuck out of the vise you're going to press this down all right so those are your two teeth take off the thicker brass ring and the spring all right, so um, if you're just cleaning it out, you could probably get to this step, uh, clean out all these components, put it back together. But if you do need to change the steel, we'll keep going. I'm gonna take some masking tape and wrap it around the round brass piece and probably go maybe five wraps around. This is just to protect the finish. All right. I can put it back in the vise. And I just have some adjustable plier wrenches. Doesn't take a whole lot. And screw it here. And be careful when you slide it out. Here's your plunger. Do not lose the spring. Spring can come off really easily. So we're going to set that aside. Now, in the brass piece, that's where the seal is. So we'll take that out. Okay. And uh, you typically won't have to change this, but it will come in the rebuild kit, but there's an O-ring on the base. And so if you need to, you can use the pick. Pull that off, put the new one on. All right, so there's your components. Now we'll put it back together. So I'm gonna put it in the vise. Plunger goes down, make sure the spring is there. That goes in first, just set it in there. Uh, make sure the plunger goes inside that seal as you screw it down. Hand tight and our plier wrench. Doesn't take a lot. Once you hit metal to metal, it'll stop spinning. That's all you need. Now at this stage, we can take off the tape. Surface still looks good. Back in the vise. All right, so back in order. Spring first. Actually, this is easier out of the vise. 
spring first, and then the thick brass piece. That goes down, and then hold that down as you put the teeth in. You do one at a time, make sure it's centered, make sure you don't push it all the way through. Okay, get the other one in and centered. Good. Now it goes back in the vise. Small brass piece, thin one, goes on top. Just rest there. Sliding collar and snap ring. I can just put this back on with my thumbs. And we're done. There we go. Perfect. That's all I need. Links to the rebuild kit are in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.